You already know what it is, man. It's Baby Out, a.k.a. Slim Rich Man with Taco Talk TV, nigga. Let's get it. What the fuck is up, man? Back home. You, you know already what I'm know what to do. You already know what we getting into. You know who I'm sitting next to, man. Uh, custom, custom, custom hoodie on one on one. You feel me? Yeah. Had to get on some, some, some exclusive shit. You know what I'm saying? Right there. Yeah. 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 Uh, Got baby Ox sitting next to me, man. What's up with you? Man, cool, man. We back home. How you feeling, bro? What's up? What's up? Man, you know, I'm just chilling, man. Just trying to walk through the rain. You feel me? Yeah. Like that's it. Just yeah. Trying to get back for real. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. We back in here, man. You got you got a lot of work out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you watching this, baby, y'all ain't no new artist. You know what I'm saying? No, sir. A vet out here. You know, vet me? Really, really dropping shit. Really dropping crank. You mm -hmm. feel me? Um, yeah, 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 what, what, what made you want to stop being a rapper, man? Um, you know, the crazy thing is, like, I remember back in the day, my brother, my brother used to have a studio in my room, so, like, yeah, like, this back when I was in the room with my brother, like, yeah. my older brother just had a studio on that joint, and, like, it's bunk bed days, like, yeah. man, I had the studio in that joint, and they used to, like, rap, and they used to make me do ad-libs and yeah. shit, like, they wanted a young voice on the track or something, they'd be yeah. like, do this, do that. And then like I know, just fucking with Fifty Cent hard, mo. I just yeah. listen to Fifty. They just made me want rap, right? I used to just write raps all the time. Yeah. Find my raps, mo. Like who the fuck? Who, who wrote this? Who cursing? Who cussing out here? Yeah. Like shit like that. But then like you know, as time went by, my man Luciano, little dude, he started rapping for real. He was yeah. like you know telling me like, dog, you gotta you gotta rap, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like, I know you don't want to be no rapper or nothing, but you gotta rap because you got some shit to tell him. Yeah. For real, for real. But like you know what I'm saying. A lot of people told me that like. A lot of some people wasn't for it, like, nah, I don't rap, you know. Yeah. Some niggas was like, yeah, nah, you got to do that because you got you got a voice, to, to, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with it. And I think, you know, what makes it even better as you as a, as an artist is that, you know, you smart. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You talk about a lot of stuff. And mm -hmm. I, I know one thing, whenever whenever I say I'm, say I'm listening to some baby art and I want to, like, promote you, mm -hmm. I tell them, go listen to Serenos. Yeah, yeah, the whole verse in Spanish. Yeah. I say, hold up. Ain't yeah, a lot doing that. Right ain't there, a yeah. lot doing that, Brian. You know, it ain't no just no no words that sound like they Spanish. It's real Spanish. Spanish. I, took, I took Spanish, so I speak Spanish. We talking yeah. to the mommies, all of that. Yeah. But, you know, you did the you did that. I'm like, hold up, hold up. Yeah, this joint crank. Yeah. But, um... Let's talk about that. How you how you get so smart? You know, a lot of people they just they rap about their life. They rap about you know just certain stuff. But right. you talk about some stuff um, that means something. Yeah, facts. You know, knowledge is a key. You know, what I'm saying I read a lot of books in my life. Yeah. I always went to school, graduated, even even in college, all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, I remember like this is the only thing that kept me on the track. My older brother used to keep me on track. Yeah. And it's like yeah. Make the honor roll, we getting some new J's and shit yeah, like yeah. that or whatever. So I just like, I just fucked it with like learning and shit. Because yeah, yeah. uh, you had a, uh, something that you was reaching for. What's it called? An incentive. Exactly. Yeah. So, and, and two, it was like a double reward. Like yeah. I might get something or I'm going to get more knowledge. So it's yeah, like, yeah. it's a win-win. You feel what I'm saying? Do you feel like you be having an advantage because you, you know, because you, because you learned or what? Hell yeah, it's like, you know, knowledge take you real far. Yeah. Knowing a lot of shit, knowing things, knowing people, all that. So it's yeah. like, hell yeah, it's something, it's something that, you you know what I'm saying, you need. I think it, I think it's good, too, because it don't even have to be something you went through, for real, for nah. real. You know what I'm saying? It could just be something that you like, oh, yeah, in case you don't know about this, boom, wrap right. it up in a verse. Exactly. And then, you know, just do put that. Put it out there, yeah. I, yeah. I like that, because, you know, sometimes you want you want to hear about the perks, the zines, mm -hmm. laying on and the gas or whatever, but at the same time, you want to switch it up. Yeah. Hear some slight, some hood, mm -hmm. Kendrick Lamar or something like that. Exactly, you feel me? I'm not, I, I like I like all type of music, so I just yeah. like, I want to relate to everybody that's out here, because not everybody pop person. Not everybody yeah. do zines or smoke weed, so, like, we got to tell a story or give the same side or your side to everybody, that, you know, that got these sides or going yeah. through these certain things. So it's like, nah, I can't just go in the studio and just start talking about all kind of drugs. Or yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? We might talk about it. We might talk about selling. We might tell you not to yeah. sell it if you don't know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? We might yeah. tell you stay out the streets and do what you do because they're going to love you for who you is. So yeah. it's just like that for real, you know what I'm saying? Now, let's get into into some music, bro. You got you got a lot of taste. You got Hood Rich, Hood Rich 2. You got Play. You got Mafia Attack. Oh, this one. I always got eggs. I eggs do, and I wish I could eggs flop. Uh -huh. Is it going to be a Mafia Attack 2? Because that Jay Crank is like... On Gang it is. Like, 
definitely about to be a mouthful tie soon. I need that. I need that. I know a lot of people out there need that. Um, but that joint, you know, it just cranked. It was a lot of hits. We was actually working towards making the Mafia Ties 2 while he was locked up. But yeah. before he got locked up, we started recording for Mafia Ties 2. Mm -hmm. But, you know, certain songs started to get leaked. So yeah. So you had to, it was you got like, to build again. It was like, all right, well, them drums out there. Niggas done put certain songs out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's some songs we can't even find. So it was just yeah. like, you know what? When we all, you know, resurface and get back on the same page. We gonna definitely put that out there again, you know what I'm saying? Free flop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. free flop, man. Until it's back. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say though? Music. What what tape do you think? All right, better question. When you doing, you know, when you doing the tape, how do you make sure that this tape or this song don't sound like the last song? You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to release a whole bunch of the exact same, same stuff. Shit. But you wanna, you know, probably convey a message to it or. All right, that's a good question. So like, put it like this. Each tape project, you know what I'm saying, whatever you want to call it, as it come out, it's a different chapter in my life. Yeah. So, like, if I was just going through just getting money and, you know, being fly, we're going to talk yeah. about that. If I just went through, you know, dealing with the law, we're going to talk about that. If I just, yeah. like, if I feel like it's a lot of bad habits I'm trying to break, we're going we gonna to talk yeah. about that. And it's like, then if we back on, like, you know, the flashy fly, yeah. we're going to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? If it's like... Oh, we so we still worried about you know the trap, yeah, yeah, getting yeah. money and like telling niggas the formula to how to get money. Yeah, we yeah. gonna talk about that. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, it's just like, it's never like from our brains, from our heart for us. So yeah. it's like, if I feel bad today, we gonna make a song about how I feel or what I'm going through. We gonna talk about yeah, that. Yeah. So like, you know what I'm saying? Courage too. It was just to let niggas know really what I was going through, how I felt yeah. and shit like that. As far as my little altercation I just went through, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what that drink prank. That drink prank. Go tune in. Definitely go big um, over it too on every streaming platform, everywhere. Man. Everywhere, you did. But, you know, you talk about being fly, you definitely fly, you know what I'm saying? Right. It look like you could really be a model. You got yeah. the, the design and drip. Too, so I got the height and all You got the height, you got the swag. Uh -huh. You What what brought about the swag, man? Because it take confidence and it oh, take yeah. money to dress how we dress. Oh, yeah. See, um, oh, my mother always told me, she said you a star. Like, yeah. She said, out of all my children, you like the most outspoken yeah. You just do what you do and nobody can stop you. And I was just yeah. like, you know, that's a fact. That's just yeah. me. Anybody that know me know that's just what I am and how I'm going to be. So it's like when it comes to dressing and all that, like, I'm going to dress. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I, I'm not going to fuck with no money for no clothes, but I'm going to yeah, make yeah. an extra for it. Or, yeah, yeah, and if I felt like fucking some money, we're going to do it too. Yeah, yeah, like, you know that. what I'm saying? Or like, it, you just got to know how to put certain things together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Period. Like, you know what I'm saying? How to dress like a street dude. Then you got to be confident, All that. You got to be confident. You just got to know what you rocking. Yeah. It's what you want rocking. Can't nobody yeah. tell you what it is or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I period. respect it. I respect it. Um, what was I going to say, though? You got brothers, right? I don't know how many brothers you got. You got a lot of brothers, though, right? Yeah, I got about, like, um, over 10. Over 10. What impact did that have on, you know, you growing as a man and as a rapper? Being the last born. Yeah, you had a lot to a lot to watch and follow through. Yeah, being the last born, I get to see examples, mistakes, all that that I don't want to make and things that I do want to do. So it's just like looking up to them yeah. and also trying to like, you know, do it for them, showing them what I can do different yeah. from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, you know, like I had, yeah, I got brothers that, you know, deal with the rap game industry. Yeah. My older brother's a videographer, actually went yeah. to school for it, all that, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Graduated from Full Sail, then worked with Saigon, all that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Everybody. Yeah. Um, what's her name? Um, what's the um, jump? Off of um, The Wire. I don't know. The only person I know of The Wire is Big G. Nah, he worked with Big G. Of course he worked yeah. with Big G. I'm going to forget her name, though. Don't worry what's, about what's it. The, it's all right, but like, pre pretty much it. we just basically, like, I've been introduced to the game and yeah. the industry. Entertainment, all that. Yeah, so it's just like it built on me the most to just yeah. keep going with that shit. So yeah, like, that's just all it is. Um, what was I gonna say though? Go Go's. You grew up in the DMV, right? Yeah. Did you go to the Go Go's? Man. Oh, my, Go Go. My, my homie right thing? here, he always went to the Go Go's. My men I'm standing with right here, they always <laughs> went to the Go Go's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fifty One Sandbox Riverdale, my niggas, they've yeah. been going to the Go Go's. But me, like, I ain't gonna lie to nobody. When I was younger, my mother ain't never want me to go to no go go's. Cause yeah, yeah. like, dangerous. She felt like it was like, nah, I don't want you going to no go go's. Mm -hmm. But like, when I turned 16, I started going to go go's on my own. But like, yeah. I ain't never go to no more than three go go's in my life. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? 18 overs and all yeah. that. I went to them, but like, I ain't never want to go to Go-Go's just because of the fact that I was so trapped on the block. Like, yeah. I remember like, like, my, like niggas money. used to pull up. My man, Dama used to have a van pull up out there and be like, hey, we going to the Go-Go's. I'd be like, yeah, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, my shit was jamming. Like, I just yeah. had to be outside for real. Like, I was just so into being outside for real. Like, yeah. Everybody going to have fun. They just come back tell their stories or whatever. I just be like, kill. Oh, yeah, <laughs> So what what was you doing? What why was the you know what I'm saying? For me, I don't think. Do you think staying on the block is like? I don't know. How is that better? Is it more money to be made or just it's more just, stuff to be seen or what? It's, it nah. It ain't even about the money. Sometimes it's just about you know. That was the atmosphere I liked to be around. Yeah. You know, being around OGs and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just hanging with the, you know, the block boys and the outside, new, outside niggas and shit like that. Yeah. It just, that's just what I liked. It, you know what I'm saying? We always played outside. Just always just like being outside for real. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the go go's never was like nothing I was pressed about because I didn't need to go to the go go's to get bitches or yeah. make money or none of that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit ain't matter to nobody. Like, my, me and my brother, we just stayed outside for real. Like, yeah. <laughs> All right, so when you play 2K, what team do you pick? Let's get this understood right now. I don't play no 2K. <laughs> Why not? I don't deal with nothing but basketball. I left, I left that drain to sling. <laughs> sling. Yeah, right. like, that, like, you know what I'm saying? I've been, I don't yeah. play no 2K. You watch you watch the games? I watch basketball here and there, you know. But it ain't it ain't a priority? Nah, the only thing I check up on is motherfucking Alonzo Ball. Yeah, respect. That's my dude. You know respect, know respect. Like, um... Second random question. How many pillows do you sleep with? Three. Three? Yeah. They be stacked up or they out long? No, nah, they ain't out long. It's like, it's two and I put one in the sun. I can't believe you know that number. Yeah. I couldn't tell you how many pillows I sleep with. Uh, yeah. $100 pillows, you better remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, how do you handcuff a one-armed man? Say what? How do you handcuff a one arm man? Gosh. I ain't gonna lie. I don't wanna do handcuffs, so I don't know. <laughs> Respect. Uh what are the last five letters of the alphabet in order? Right now. Ten seconds. Last seconds. five or ten. Nine. Um, we gonna eight, say seven. I don't remember. Six, five, I don't remember, but four. Don't give up. We ain't wanna manipulate Three. my brain, but let me just put Two. it like this. I ain't got no one. <laughs> you not even gonna try to answer it? No. All right, let me see. All right, last question. If your whole family was to go to hell, and everyone you love was in hell, right? And God said, you can pick to go with them, or you can go to heaven. What you gonna do? I'm leaving now. I'm going to heaven. <laughs> I'm about to say, I nobody heard somebody. Told, nobody told them to go do whatever they did to go, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how we operate. We yeah. We're going to paradise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Respect. Because I was about to say, I I, uh, I heard somebody ask this question. And lay, and the person was like, I'm going to go be with my family in hell. No, and no. I'm sitting there watching like, what? That's that's what you choosing? And the reason why I say that is going to be being a Muslim. You know, you you might only spend half your life in, you know, in heaven. I mean, yeah. in hell. And then come back up, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Or you, it can go either way. So I'm going to heaven, and whatever, whatever they pay, they do. So what they did, they might come back up for the good thing they done in their life. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, last question outside the random question. Probably first time we did this. Why, why, um, why Islam? You know what I'm saying? As black people, I feel like most of the time we we always believe in either Christianity or Islam. But what made you, you know, pick whichever one? Well, I didn't pick, you know, my, my child was whipping my ear as a baby, you know, I was yeah. born a Muslim. Yeah. My whole, my mother's whole family is Muslim, they Muslims, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, I was born in a Muslim family, Muslim house, so, yeah. like, it's, you know, lead, lead the Salat in my house, you know what I'm saying? As a man in the house, like, to lead the Salat, have more knowledge and all that, so, like, Islam has always been a part of my life, it's a big thing in my life, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, that's why it's Islam, it's not because, you know, 2009 came and Kufus was yeah, popular. Yeah, yeah. Like, I went to <laughs> I jail. Remember that. You know, I was like, I might have, you know, yeah. changed face. It was just yeah. like, that's just my whole, it's been like that my whole life. Everybody, okay, okay. I've always been up, you know. Baby, you like, 
you just like grown, you know what I'm saying? Right. Big dudes, tall, what you like, Ain't no six job like, I've been, I'm grown. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm about but, six, three, six, two, and three. But why three, Baby Ock? You know what I'm saying? You nigga, Baby Ock need to be somebody that's low key, don't stand out. Right. Oh, that's what the name leads you to believe, but. Right. You know what I'm saying? When people see you, they like, this nigga ain't no baby. Right. See, I mean, Baby Ock don't mean nothing but baby brother. Yeah. So let's get this understood, like, shout out my man, Nate Bone. Yeah, yeah. When I was, like, when we was, like, back in the G-Do, like, literally, I was, like, the young, I was the youngest nigga hanging amongst niggas, like, 16, 17, 21, yeah. 23, 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, like, 13 years old. Yeah. I'm hanging with all the, you know, my, yeah. I call them my older men on my OGs, you know, yeah, so yeah. some of them are standing right here. Yeah. So it was just, like, I used to be called Flock of Zulu. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm like, and then we, like, yeah. <laughs> and we, like, you know, real loud was like some of the only Muslims in the hood yeah. at that time. So like, you know, niggas be like, that's a up, a up. Yeah. But it was two of us, so they'd just be like, baby up. Yeah, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? It's two of my, me and my bro, so they just be yeah. like, that's baby up. We gonna call him baby up. Like, my man Nate Bones just like, man, that's baby up, man. We gonna call you baby up. And then, yeah. you know, looking for like a new, and I just made that everything else from that day. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying, baby up. Now, this this one question, I gotta ask it. You know what I'm saying? Whenever I'm talking about baby up, I'm like, man, Say this nigga look like an old Gucci. People say that a lot, dog. I just wanted to know, what, what you think about that? You take offense to that, or you think it's funny, or what? I think it's funny, but I also consider it like a real judgment. Like, oh yeah, because ain't nothing, ain't nothing, you know, pussy or fake about Gucci. So yeah. I mean, you just thinking like that's that go hard nigga right yeah. there. Like you know what I'm saying? He look like. Like another gangster that yeah, we already know, like you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, respect. And that's just what it is, you know what I'm saying? I'm a real G, so. Respect. So I look respect. like Gucci, man. It's, it's not a compliment because I don't yeah. want to like nothing, but it's not a bad thing. Yeah, okay. I okay. just find it fun, like, kill why people always yeah. say that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, I think that's it, man. We knocked out the random questions. Found out, is there anything you want to talk about that I ain't touch on? If the world don't know already, I ain't got to speak on it, so. Yeah, you did. You did? We just did that. Uh... Oh, yeah, and for that random jump, VWXYZ. <laughs> for those that thought I didn't know, I just ain't want my brain to get manipulated on camera. <laughs> hey, it's all good, man. About uh, to hop into this Toggle Talk exclusive real quick. Um, you know, stay tuned, man. You stay watching tuned, the video, man. you watch this drip, squad. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of drip, a whole lot of uh, designer you know swag, whatever you got need, palace, we got. Yeah, it. You know what I'm saying? You got a palace on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell them. Tell them, got a rap you know out today. Tell them I need two clubs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. real yeah. drip, man. Um, yeah, that's it, though. You watching this joint, make sure you like, leave a comment. You think the random questions is whatever you think. You know, leave a random question. Yeah, super tense on me. You still pop a boot. You feel so me? Smart for the shit, so my mind I won't lose. You get me? Yeah. You feel me? Hey, look, man. We out. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Sweet dreams is down to dream. See you around like a donut. Mm -hmm. Make sure you stay tuned to Taco Talks. Stay tuned for this exclusive. Let's Nigga. There we go. Shit. Nigga. And you still still. I got money on my mind. Get a bag though. I just took down in that lake with a bag though. I just took down in that lake with a bag though. She gave me top on the top. She got deep throat on the top. I got money on my mind. Get a bag though. I just took down in that lake with a bag though. I just took down in that lake with a bag though. She gave me top on the top. She got deep throat on the top. Heard a knock at the door. Check the pee hole. I'm a shark swimming deep. You a tadpole, I put this dick up in a kidney She like, oh no, she like, oh no. Eight five for the stick, let your snake go When it's time, I'm getting cold, grab a mink coat I drink Coronas with my vodka, those my meat coat All that sneak, this is going on, I'm people 